The medals keep pouring in for Team Nigeria, and this time it came in wrestling where the team grabbed five medals, two gold and three bronze in just a day. And a delighted president of the Nigerian Wrestling Federation, Daniel Igali, told Channels Television from Scotland that the team deserved its reward after adequate preparation. He admits that despite the record number of medals won so far in the events, and uh, he says that the country will, may still have a lot to do ahead of the 2016 Olympic Games, which comes up in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Just give you an example of the kind of girl I have. Um, last summer World Games, she was just 16, 20, 17. She made the team, not in both 38 kilogram class and 51 kilogram class in the trial. Because she was too young, I didn't want her to make too much weight, so I wanted to move her up one weight class. She elected to stay at 42 kilograms. And the reason she did that was because we had a the girl from Canada was an Olympic champion from 2012. And she wanted to keep her at the Commonwealth Games. Mm. So we went to the Commonwealth Games and she narrowly lost to an Olympic champion and crack for two days. She ended up winning bronze. This time she has come and delivered. I mean, I am, I am so happy for her. I just wish that we could do what we can as a country for this girl to beat the world in a couple of years from now. Uh, female wrestling hasn't been uh, in existence as long as male wrestling, and that's why we need to capitalize on it. That is not to say that we don't have very good female wrestlers in the world, but I do think, even with the kind of talent, the amount of talent I have on the team, that the female wrestlers I have right now will probably do better at this stage than the male. But we, still need to, we need to put in the resources to get the male athletes to, to compare favorably. We need to do the, the necessary planning, we need to do the necessary monitoring to get them to where they need to be. And, and, and I think, and I've made this uh, observation a quite a number of times, that what we do at that Commonwealth, immediately, I'm not even talking three months, what we do a week after this Commonwealth Games is going to decide whether we're going to stick to paying lip service to squats or whether we're serious about 2016 in Rio.